okay if i get a message now to go and see a place what are the questions that i should ask so that i don't end up living with a monster or something hi guys welcome to my channel it's your girl tola i am a vancouver based youtuber and it's good to have you here so like the title says i want to go straight to the point it's all about finding an accommodation here in canada specifically british columbia because that's where i am but i feel like these tips may also help you like even if you're in other provinces as well so just sit back and just you know grab a drink popcorn and just watch get a pen and paper as well because you might need it just ignore the makeup right now on my face i literally just filmed for instagram and i didn't want my makeup to waste i was like why don't i just film this accommodation um video now because a lot of people have they've been asking me like and i'm not even happy i'm not just saying it for saying sake like i've actually gotten dms and even when i filmed when i posted my travel vlog people are, and i asked people to comment down below like videos they want me to do a lot of people suggested accommodation so here's the video and if you're not following me on instagram please do so because that's where the tutorial of this makeup will be on so follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter just so i don't miss any important step i'm just gonna be looking at my notes and i literally wrote down points that i like points i don't want to forget important points that i feel like everybody should know if you're trying to look for an accommodation here in canada so first i'm just gonna talk a bit about my experience and then would we'll go into like what i've learned and like the tips that helped me get in my second place because i'm currently at my second accommodation so i came to canada last year january 12th and i got my accommodation on the 13th of january so literally the next day i found a place and that was because before I got to Canada, so the moment I got my visa, like the top three things on my list, aside from settling down, you know, opening a bank account, getting um, a sign, was finding, a, an, finding an accommodation. And that was just because I didn't have anyone to stay with here. So I have a friend in Vancouver, but then I couldn't stay with her. I eventually, or I've come to realize now that like a lot of accommodations here like one of the rules that like maybe a landlord would give is that you cannot have like a friend over so a friend cannot stay with you maybe for more than two nights or three nights or four nights so of course even if i could stay with my friend for like a night or two i would still have to find a place so technically it was like i had to find my own place um, my friend introduced me to facebook marketplace i didn't even know there was anything called facebook marketplace and then i realized that that's where a lot of people actually um, check if they're looking for like accommodation or even a job or even if you're trying to like furnish your house or you're on a strict budget and you're trying to furnish your place you would find things on facebook marketplace and it doesn't even have to be secondhand even like new items but i digress i started to check fa facebook marketplace and the thing was because it was also my first time like coming to canada like i felt like i did not even have a plan i was just always I just had a budget. Asha said that, oh, I cannot pass this certain amount. So I got my visa September um, 2022. And then I started looking for places on Facebook Marketplace, trying to like work around my budget. But then towards the end of November, December, I had still not gotten a place. And then I realized that was because the moment I send like messages to like maybe apartment, um, when I see like an apartment for rent and they realize that I'm not currently in Canada, they are just the next day or maybe a few minutes later they give me this excuse that oh sorry maybe it's taking then i figured okay they are not giving me accommodation because i'm not in the country i can't even physically inspect it like somebody even tried to like um send like video recordings of the place she was even nice enough to do that but then i kept telling myself of course she's not going to show me the she's just going to show me what i want to see she's not going to show me the other parts and i don't want to make a down payment of a place i haven't even seen like what if it's even a scam you know i just had so many thoughts so eventually i knew i had to settle for an airbnb pending the time i actually get to canada and physically inspect or look for accommodations myself so i downloaded this app called airbnb i put it on the screen and on the app it would literally you're able to like pick the province you are going to in canada put your location 
you can like narrow it down so it's easy for you to actually find a place it's just that airbnbs are so expensive and i was literally coming to this country on a budget so i could only afford to pay for an airbnb for five days and i just told myself that i literally have five days to look for accommodation and because i knew that i didn't want to extend my airbnb i knew that i had to also intensify on like my search for accommodation so basically like a week or two before i knew i was coming to canada i was sending like emails like on facebook and not email sorry i was sending like um templates like messages to rooms for rent that i see on facebook on facebook marketplace hoping that they respond to me and then i literally just told them oh yeah i'm going to be in canada in vancouver in like a week so i can actually inspect but then i also even realized that a week was even still too much because this was literally a first come first serve basis so basically two to three days before i actually came to canada i really started messaging people because i'm like i'm going to be here in two days like i can actually physically inspect and then when i noticed that like one or two people would be like oh yeah sure like yeah we can set a date now or like a time as to when would be available and now i now figured okay i guess now is the best time for me to start like sending more messages to people because i'm going to be in the country so they are willing to actually even give me a date for us to meet for me to physically inspect the accommodation and that was how i was able to get like two or three um like meetings with like some of either the agents or the landlord for me to inspect and i arrived on the 12th on the 13th i went mean, for the first viewing the moment i saw it it literally i thought it ticked all of the boxes at the time because like i told you i had not even done my research the only thing i knew was it was within my budget it was furnished and there was a bus stop close to the house that was just it and i felt like that was enough for me so the moment i went there i was like yeah i'm ready to make the deposit now pay for it and that was it so basically after and that's one thing you realize with like accommodations in canada you have to make a deposit they expect you to pay for your rent every month and usually the deposits you have to make when you decide to take like a place is usually like half of your um rent so i had to make that deposit for her to know that we well, yeah, i'm serious i'm going to move here after my five days at the airbnb and that was it so i finally got a place of course i was excited because i didn't think it was going to be that easy and it was after after staying there i realized that there were some things i should have actually asked before moving there but because again i was so desperate and i was in a hurry to just find a place i didn't want to extend my airbnb i literally just it was like i just settled for what was available and some of the red flags that i actually discovered during that period was first of all don't stay in an apartment where you're living with the landlord or the landlady basically like i don't even i feel like it's even self-explanatory as i'm saying this like and what i mean by that is there are a lot of people here that are looking to just like sublease a room in their apartment so maybe it's like a two bed or a three bed and maybe their family will stay in like um will stay in like two out of the three rooms and then you get the third room so it's like you're living together i wouldn't suggest that you take that type of accommodation except it's just temporarily like pending the, pending the time you find like a permanent place and that's just because no matter even if you're paying rent even if you're paying for utilities they still have like this ownership mindset which to be honest is understandable because it's like you're inviting somebody to your house but then this person is also paying rent but then they see it as like my 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 you can't bring people over you can't have friends sleep over you can't make noise after this certain time you can't do this you can't do that there are just so many rules because in their head they still see it as their house but technically your parents is not like you're staying there for free so that's one of the reasons why i would say do not stay in a place where you're going to be basically living with the landlord it's going to end in tears it's going to end in disaster and that was what happened for me because after a while i started to clash with the landlady and it just it just wasn't great but that was not even why i left i realized that she only needed me for a few months because she was already applying for bc housing because she couldn't afford to pay for her own rent and she literally just gave me like a three weeks notice that i have to leave and that's the thing again just because your sub it was a sub -list. like there was no contract no nothing it was she could literally just kick me out anytime because there was no formal agreement there was no contract with us and that's another thing just make sure like there's a contract before you even 
before you move in basically so that again it does not end in disaster it does not end in premium tears so i just wanted to give that brief um explanation first before i now go into like the tips in finding like accommodation after the three weeks notice i felt like because i'd been in um vancouver at the time for four five months I already had a list of things that I knew that, oh, if I'm looking for my next accommodation, these are the things I would ask. These are, these are the things I would do. Like, I just knew I wasn't going to make the same mistake again. And within two weeks, I found this place with my tips. So I know that it works. Like, I always tell people, but you also have to be ready to put in the work. Because except you have the money to be paid for Airbnb. I know there are some people that they are really, like, on a street... <laughs> They're on a strict budget or they just have like a timeline in which they want to really settle down so this video is for you before you actually start your journey of looking for an apartment you have to ask yourself these questions where do you want to stay do you want to stay close to your job or do you want to stay close to school or do you want at least do you want to be in the middle that's number one do you want to stay in a place that is close to the train station or to the bus stop because that is very necessary everywhere is far from everywhere so the best thing you can do for yourself is either live close to the train station the sky train or close to the bus stop and then whatever accommodation you are looking for do you want shared room or do you want like shared flats do you want shared kitchen or do you want like um shared washroom or both or private washroom but shared kitchen like these are the things you have to ask yourself and then what's your budget and you also have to be very realistic with yourself especially with the way the Canadian economy is moving now. If you're looking for private washroom or like shared kitchen or private washroom and kitchen or like a self, a one bed, you have to be willing to broaden your budget. Basically, you can't be saying that, oh, your budget is $800 now in British Columbia and you're saying that you're looking for um, a one bed with your own private washroom and kitchen. You're in fantasy land. <laughs> Because that's not gonna work with the way british columbia is one thousand dollars will get you like maybe shared your own room but shared washroom and kitchen you might be lucky to get like maybe your own private washroom but definitely shared kitchen with one thousand so basically you should already know how to like budget yourself just means with your budget you have to be flexible also do you want furnished or do you want unfurnished for me, I wanted furnished because I just, I was coming to a new country. I, I just knew that I wouldn't, I was not even in the mental capacity to start looking for um, different places to buy bed or buy this. I knew it would be too expensive for me. So I just wanted a furnished place where all I just had to do was move in my things. And then it's like eventually as I settle down, then I'll get an unfurnished place and furnish it to my own taste. But for now, it's like, just give me furnished. So that was, that was what I wanted. You also have to ask yourself, how many flatmates because there are big houses you see there's like a house of 10 or 7 a house of 5 with of course shared washroom and kitchen it can be a house with like five rooms three washrooms or two washrooms and like a kitchen so you just have to also ask yourself and all of these things you definitely see it by the time you start looking for accommodations on all of these accommodation sites but you should also have an idea of what you want so you're not overwhelmed or confused when you start to see the options also like i said rent is on a monthly basis you pay your rent every month you have to also remember that you have to pay a deposit and the deposit is usually around like half of the rent or either less than half of the rent or like half of the rent basically also you have to note that there are some accommodations where utilities is added to the rent so it's like rent and then the rent utilities inclusive or utilities already included in the rent or you might see another one where it's like rent and then they put utilities separate so you also have to ask yourself do you want to be paying for the utilities separately or do you want it added to your rent so these are the questions that you ask yourself first or these are the questions you should have in mind while you're going through like all these accommodation websites when you are certain with these questions now during the physical inspection because you also have to now ask yourself if i even find a place now and somebody tells me to come now 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 because that happens you can be I'm sending messages to somebody like in the morning and they might get back to you that oh they are free today do you want to come and look at it so you have to already be ready with your questions that okay if i get a message now to go and see a place what are the questions that i should ask so that i don't end up living with a monster <laughs> or something like what i said utilities are utilities added to the rent or not so you already know your budget before you now see, oh, maybe you found a place that is within your budget, the place is 1000 Then you realize that utilities is not added, so now it's 1150 So that's, or 1100 
so you also you always have to ask that's number one number two you have to ask are there any rules because i don't even want to specify like oh maybe can i have people over it's better to generalize it and ask are there any rules i need to be aware of before i'm moving are there things that need to be done in a specific way so you know whether you can actually take it or not so you don't end up finding you don't end up putting yourself in a situation where you're not beginning to have back and forth with either your flatmates or the landlady or the agent so you ask now at like because in some accommodations they will tell you you can't have people over or you can't have people past a particular time or after a particular time you can't cook again or after a particular time you can't make noise so you have to ask please what are the rules let me know now if it's something i can take or not you also have to find out how long are they looking to lease because there are some people that like in my situation she, i just felt like the landlady was literally using me pending the time she was able to save up to move to another place so you have to find out how long are they looking to list the place for is it one year or two years or six months or ten months be sure confirm and when you people are able to come to an agreement you finalized everything after a physical inspection ask them about a contract all these things that we've agreed on is it going to be in writing please can we sign it we're here for business we're not here to play because this is accommodation you don't want to find yourself stranded you don't want to even be in a position where you now feel like you're stuck in a very shitty accommodation so just make sure you ask the right questions and when you people are able to come to an agreement please let it be in writing that you people should sign for me i don't like pets i don't want to live in a house with dogs or cats so you also have to ask again are pets allowed if you're okay with pets then that's fine for people like me that are not okay with pets if they tell you oh yeah you you might not have a pet but maybe another person that is coming tomorrow in a house with like shared accommodation or whatever they are coming with a pet are you okay with it so you have to ask and then you also have to even find out again too if i'm going to be living in a house of seven or in a house of eleven where there will be shared washroom and shared kitchen is there going to be someone coming to the house to clean regularly or are we the ones that are going to be doing the chores and if we're the ones that are going to be doing the chores how are the chores going to be divided so be sure that the house is actually neat this were the questions i noted down these were the questions that i would always ask when i went for physical viewings and you'll be surprised how like from just asking some of these questions you even find out some other things that would that would even determine whether or not this place is even for you because the house could be looking nice now but by the time they give you some rules or tell you what comes with the house you just be like oh yeah i'm so sorry like this is enough for me so yeah. so after noting down all of these questions the first thing i actually did before i even came to canada even before i started checking on facebook marketplace was that i sent an email to my school i wanted to even find out okay since i'm coming in as a student so this is for students I sent an email to my school asking them what are actually the accommodation options for students and i remember they sent me an email with like their own accommodation that they recommend for students and when i looked at the bill i saw it was of course more than my budget for the month so i couldn't take it and then i reached out to them again that okay this is actually more than my budget are there other options for students that do that have like a lower budget and i remember they sent me a lot of accommodation um websites to go through so that's when i also saw facebook marketplace kijiji panmapa craigslist and one or so and some other ones so i i tried checking them while i was in nigeria but to be honest the only accommodation website that i don't even know if it's a website but the only place that got back to me was facebook marketplace so i decided to put all of my energy on facebook marketplace i disregarded craigslist and the rest facebook marketplace works so yeah i stuck to that i wasn't using facebook in nigeria i literally had to revive my page again so that i could because i was literally on it from the moment i started looking for accommodation and knew, and i knew that i couldn't afford schools accommodation options and my only op and my only option was um facebook I, I i downloaded the app on my phone i was always on facebook marketplace every time i started joining a lot of community groups you see so many especially pertaining to your province or even the area in your province that you want to move to you i saw vancouver places for rent go to facebook marketplace i'll just type room for rent there's a place where you can actually narrow down your location and you put vancouver like you put the area or the radius where you want your location so i'm in british columbia now and my school is in vancouver so my first my primary place was first vancouver then i checked burnaby which is quite close to vancouver then i checked new west these are like places in british columbia so i just would always narrow down like 
you can narrow down your location on the facebook market on the facebook app so make sure you download the app it's just easier for you or if you're using your laptop as well you can do that so i would put in the location i want i'll narrow it down and then i'll like it will give me a lot of options so when you click on one um room for rent now for instance it will give you pictures of how the place looks like it will put the price it will give you like a description so it will tell you where the room or the accommodation is located at it will tell you whether it's close to like a bus stop or, it's, or whether it's close to a train station it will tell you whether it's close to a shopping mall or whether it's even close to a school like it, it because they are literally trying to even sell the place to you so that you would also come and like um, come for like a physical viewing and hopefully accept it and then they would also put at the end that please could you send a brief description of yourself introducing yourself maybe telling me what your where your what you do if you're a student and all of these other things so what i would say is i had a template which was all worked for me so i had a template on my notes app which basically just had like a brief description of okay my name is this is this i'm nigerian i'm just so, so age i am going to this school this is the course i'm doing i work here and i these are my hobbies they basically just want a brief description of you and I would say you actually have a template just because it's easy for you to apply to 20 to 30 places in a day yes i'm not kidding that's actually what helps if you're trying to look for a place on time you can't just say that oh let me apply to one or two places then tomorrow i'll apply to one or two places mm -mm. you have to apply to multiple places and i'm not even capping i'm not joking like i would literally sit down and it was easy for me you would even be surprised that when you have a template, you can apply to more than 20 places. You try just scrolling, you find um, an accommodation that catches your eye, or maybe you look at the budget, you, and you look at the description, and you feel like, okay, this is what I'm looking for. You just go to your notes app, copy, paste, and you're waiting for them to respond to you. Sharp, sharp. So that's what I would just do. I would literally just sit down. Like in Nigeria, I would literally, especially two to three days before I knew that I was living in Nigeria, I would sit down and just be messed and I'll just be sending my templates to multiple people and best believe there's no how one person would not respond to you back that you should come for a physical view it's not possible and the more you do that you definitely start getting like responses from people why i was also saying that you should follow community groups on facebook marketplace is because the moment you start following these community groups i remember only two right now vancouver places for rent and vancouver housing rentals when you start following this um, community groups, the moment you open Facebook Marketplace, that's what your timeline on the marketplace will be. You're literally just seeing accommodations, different price ranges, because now you're following community groups that are also uploading, reposting people that are either looking for a flatmate or they're even looking to like give out like it's a new um, accommodation. They are looking to fill the place up. Like you see so many things the moment you are following community groups. So it also makes it a bit easier. And the moment you find one, it's always easy to find others. I found one from applying to so many places because then when you just scroll through someone's like page, you would realize that maybe this person is even following like these two community groups. So me too, I'll just go there and join the group. I will, at some point, I was following like five or six community groups and it made it a bit easier because then I'm seeing so many accommodations on my timeline that there's no how you would not find <laughs> like you find places to apply to basically why i always said you should apply to as many um as many places as you can is because there are also people that why they're asking for a description is because they also want to like some people are looking for specific people they can say oh this one now i just want people that are spanish or i just want only black people or i just want only females you want to be sure you're even applying to a place that they even want somebody like you maybe your age group or your gender or your or the school you go to some people will say oh yes i only want students that go to ubc or sfu alone so already now technically you can't apply there because except you're going to like one of those schools so you just want to also give yourself options and if you're on a timeline as well you don't want to waste time just applying to one or two places you want to apply to as many as you can with your templates so that you don't have to like extend your stay at an airbnb or just like it's just something to relieve yourself off of the moment you get accommodation because i know how i felt when i found a place and with this second accommodation I'm at, I'm at in case you guys actually want a room tour let me know with this accommodation i actually got it basically ticked at least nine out of ten of my boxes 
and that was cause like even when i moved when i came to this house i even thought it was a scam at first because the house was too fine i was like and then with the press as well i'm like ah, could this be real but then like and it was just like it was just one of those days to where i just saw the picture and because i already had a template i just did copy and paste within like 30 minutes i already got a response back by the next morning she already lets me know that i can come for a physical viewing like that was how fast it was because i already had a template all i just had to do was copy and paste and i would just always spend so much time on facebook marketplace i'm just scrolling it but the more you search you will definitely come across like um accommodations that are within your budget so i'll just say don't give up just keep trying also i would say for people that already have friends in whatever province um in whatever province they are they're moving to i would say that you can also start your search in nigeria before you get here and then just get your friends to help you with physical viewings and you might even get a place before you get here if your friend is able to help you with physical viewing and your friend will go on your behalf check and see if it's good if it's conducive if she can even um, do a video call which was what my friend was helping me with and yeah you might even find a place before you get here and if you don't have somebody you can also book an airbnb which i would put the app icon on the screen and you can just book for like a few days or a week or 10 days and just give yourself that timeline like okay this period i'm going to be staying at this airbnb i'm going to use opportunities to look for accommodation because trust me by the time you get here and you start paying for airbnb you will know <laughs> because it's so expensive you're paying like 50 something or 60 something or 70 something per day if you multiply that by 10 that's almost 700 and that's almost like you can pay that for you you can pay that as rent for a month and you're in the comfort of your own room instead of airbnb that you still have to find your own place like so yeah basically that's all i have for finding accommodation here and i've tried it my friends have tried it it has worked and yeah make sure you have your questions so you don't end up staying with a landlord that will just wake up one day and tell you that his family members are coming and you have to move out or a landlord that will just tell you that oh sorry they are moving to another country and you have to move out and you can't do anything about it because you didn't sign any contract there was no agreement no nothing you are literally you just moved in and you're just paying rent and that was it and now they, are, they don't have any use for you again basically and now you're homeless so just make sure you ask the right questions don't get scammed don't go and pay any deposit to anybody without viewing the place like just make sure you you just take your time and find a place and just be ready to make your budget flexible because now with the way the economy is is even getting a bit harder for immigrants to actually look for an affordable place so if you're one that is like very specific like maybe you don't want to share washroom for instance you have to be ready to make sure your um, budget is it can be flexible it can get bigger if necessary but yeah that's all i have for today if you watched the video to this point thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe please like share put on your notification bell so you get to see when next i upload and yes if you guys have any more videos or if you guys have any um video suggestions that you guys want me to film for you please let me know in the comment section and if you guys have any other questions concerning accommodation let me know as well and i'll be sure to answer them i might even do a part two if you guys want based on the questions i get from this video so yeah thank you so much for watching i love you bye